What's up everybody, I'm back with another video game review. I've been pumping these fuckers out uh, recently. Um, but this is of a childhood classic game that I decided to revisit. And now looking back on it, kind of regret that. <sighs> it sounds stupid, but it is Go Diego Go. Great Safari Adventure for the PlayStation 2. Um, which I remember playing very religiously back in the day when I was younger and I thought it was a good game and I replay it. Not the greatest game. <laughs> Far from it, in fact. Um, uh, where do I even begin? Uh, first of all, I was like six or seven when I played this religiously and now I'm 19. So, of course, it's going to look different. The quality, I, it just took a huge drop from when I remember it. Probably because it was on PlayStation 2. Probably because it was a uh, not a, uh, you know, very well-developed game. Uh, basically, what it is is basically Diego and this random Jaguar cub go to save the elephants who have all been turned to stone by this lady who became, who got turned into a human from a mosquito because of magic and she doesn't like the elephants. So that's the whole story and you go around and you spend about like an hour and a half basically just helping out every other ant species on the savanna possible before you get to the elephants. It is so weird. What they help lions, they help gazelle, they help monkeys, they help crocodiles, they help uh meerkats, they help hippos, they help rhinos, they help zebras, they help buffalo, they help giraffe all before they get to the actual elephants and like I know it's supposed to be a game and it, it gives a little bit of extra playability and also they get facts about the animals so at least they have that but in a real desperate situation when you're trying to save a whole species are you gonna really help out the other species like all you were doing is giving them food for the most part you were leading them to a water hole giving them food or you were giving them a bird to clean their teeth like they're supposed to do that on their own. Why are you doing it for them? At least make it a little bit better of a reason than you're giving them food or you're leading them to a water source that they should easily be able to find. Come on. Um, again, why I think the quality is not, uh, not the greatest. But anyway, um, and then the elephants themselves, they gave the girl eyelashes <laughs> Why? Like, elephants do have eyelashes. But basically, they're not like eyelashes. You just like these kind of eyelashes. You know, where you actually find an elephant. They're ones that, like, girls put on or women put on fake ones to make themselves look prettier. Pretty much just to differentiate the fact that she's a girl. The elephant. The elephant that actually, like, hides out and helps you throughout the adventure and stuff like that. And she's voiced by this girl. And she's like, Whoa! 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 Like, it's not easy. Like, when you're breaking through shit, and she's like, Whoa! Yeah, whoa! And it's like weird, but whatever. Um, and then it's like, I, I totally forgot Diego Go Diego Go was off of Spanish until he started speaking Spanish and then immediately translating himself into English. Every word, every sentence had to be said in Spanish when it was immediately going to be said in English anyways. Why? And also, I think there's more dialogue in this game than there is actual gameplay. And the actual gameplay is not really that much. It's like a side-scroller. Like, uh, it's kind of like Snoopy's, you know, kind of thing like that. Just a side-scroller, you jump up and down, you go through levels. It's not even really levels. You're just going through. Like, I did the whole thing straight through in one go. <laughs> It took me like an hour, hour and a half maybe to get it all done, uh, which is crazy. But um, but you know, whatever. You know, it's a pretty cool thing. But um, so yeah, <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But um, and then you know, of course, like Snoopy, they also have these things, they, these stamps you can collect, these adventure stamps, these nature stamps that you can collect, and then you basically put them in a book. That's all they're there for. They have, again, like Snoopy, no correlation to the actual game itself. Nothing you can do about it. 
Uh, no, nothing, nothing that really has any worth for it. And you can collect just one piece of food. You can collect all the pieces of food to get the special stamp, or maybe not to get the special stamp. It does not matter. You can't even die in the game. You go to a barrier. You or you go to a cliff. Stop there. There's an invisible barrier blocking you. You run in. You crash through a wall with a car or an elephant. Nothing happens. Crash into a rock. Crash into a, a wood. Crash into another animal. Nothing happens. So yeah, <laughs> basically, it's heavily meant for children. Uh, basically, the only reason why I played it is because I, I wanted to see if it was going to relive up to my childhood nostalgia. And the intro to the game, uh, I remember it gave me a huge bit of nostalgia. The noises that pick up when you pick up the stamp pieces. The noises when you get to meet the people. Or the animals, I guess. Uh, the talk, all well, for some reason. And then, uh, which I guess is, you know, again, because it's a children's game, whatever. Uh, picking up the stuff and doing all the things and, and the music and everything it brought back a lot of nostalgia But as somebody who's played more Higher-end video games I can take a more critical look at this and realize it was not a very well-made game But did it really need to be I don't know it's, it's 15 years old at this point When this when I record this at least so I guess I, I don't know it's, a, it's, it's just it's just a game it's one of those games you know one of those shovelware games that they shove out to make money off the brand and uh, yeah I have another one of those too it's a dinosaur one it's pretty much I think it's pretty much the same thing I've never played it but it's pretty much the same thing I've got a bunch of children's games on the PS2 that I want to try and maybe go through at some point we'll see as I work through my backlog but anyways what would I give this game a review out of Probably a good six, five out of ten. The nostalgia trip was really the only reason why I had decided to keep playing the game. Uh, and it didn't take that long, so at least it wasn't like a big drag on. So that was pretty nice at least. But do I recommend playing this game if you're not a child? No. Unless you're doing it like me for uh, the nostalgia trip. Don't play this game. <laughs> Please don't play this game. Um, but that's going to do it for this game review. If you ever played this game as a child or as an adult, I'd like to know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. If you played on other systems, maybe it's better, maybe it's worse. Who knows? Uh, stay tuned for more game reviews and other much more amazing content. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.